Yo, what is going on guys? Bobby here and today we are back with another video. So what you guys see right now is the Power League matchmaking loading screen. Now I am in this for hours and hours and hours and hours a day. This is the most competitive Power League season that there has been in the last year plus. It's been a lot of fun to play in. I've been streaming it every single day for five, six, seven, eight hours. If you guys want to check it out, the link is going to be in the description below. I highly suggest you do because it is a lot of fun. Uh, but with that being said, today we have a very, very, very special video for you guys. So we are going to be playing some Power League. I'm going to show you guys some clips on my stream mixed with the GOAT himself, Kung Fu Kenny, who is a professional Brawl Stars caster. He's going to be casting our Power League games. Shout out to Connor. I've seen him do this. It looks like a super fun video, so we're going to steal that idea from him. So before we get into it, quick question for you, Kenny. How do you think Power League is going to compare casting-wise versus a competitive match? I mean, surely it's a lot different. What's up, everybody? We are about to get kicked off into some good old Bobby BS Brawl Stars. Most of you know me from being a BSC caster. I cast Bobby all the time. Uh, in terms of like how I feel about this versus, you know, professional stuff, honestly, Bobby's power leagues are about as professional as it gets. We're definitely going to probably see some pros in here, too. Super excited to get it kicked off. Best of luck, Mr. Bobby. And uh, I'll try and go easy on you. All right. No pressure. All right. Getting into the first one here. All right. Bands just went through. I think Bobby and his teammates are going to be interested. Just kidding. It's a disconnect from gas. All right. Pro player dodge right there. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. He kind of saved me. I, I'm not going to be mad. I'm not going to be mad. Sorry, Kenny. Sorry, Kenny. Sorry, Kenny. Sorry, Kenny. Sorry, Kenny. <laughs> oh, he's saying sorry to me. It's all good. All good. You save yourself? gas bro like you don't just get to dodge <laughs> oh man there's some upset people in the chat right now about this <laughs> about this dodge i think gas is in there too he said quote i just saved myself lol yeah i'm sure um Bo Bo bobby is very calm about this though he's all good hasn't thrown him off he's been here before nothing is going to waver the confidence like you don't just get to be like Oh, I have a griff on my team. I'm going to dodge. Like, that's just not how it works. Now we're going to try this again. It's going to be Kaboom Canyon here for map number one. No Shelly, no Crow. Bobby with an instant no Crow, too. So we'll see what Rupp does here. Turns out it's going to be Shelly, Penny, and Crow as the bands for our blue side, a.k.a. Team Bobby on the other side, Eve, B, and Meg. So again, this is going to be Kaboom Canyon. Really interesting stuff here. Bobby immediately flashing the call let. Everybody on the team seems to be in sync. This is what we love to see. If I see STM and Bobby in my lobby, I listen. Great teamwork there. And honestly, call a solid brawler too. I think it's a first overall pick. It's going to be super versatile. Obviously, Colette, somebody right now that can dish out a ton of high safe damage. I call it out on broadcast all the time for BSC and ESL, but 10% every time. That's without power-ups from things like Colonel Ruffs. That's without the old damage gear, too. There's a lot of good stuff that can go down. So we'll see what Colette does and how the other team addresses this. High DPS dealer on the other side. That's going to be Lola looking to use that ego, get some assists here. And a Bell, interestingly enough, Bell not being a bad pick, but just somebody that I don't really see as being a huge high safe dealer. I think that's something I'm over always looking out for especially in kind of these pl games too is how are they going to get their high safe damage look like bobby wants them to go with the 8-bit it's a power 10 that's my only concern but honestly sometimes you just got to rock with it bobby of course going to be a historically good brock i can see why he would want to use this brawler and he's been getting a lot of eu games too so we'll see if that influences his decision at all but i saw a suggestion of griff from another teammate griff to me makes some sense as well I'm going to go with Brock. I like this selection. I think overall a good composition here for the blue team. I'm curious to see what they kind of respond with. Again, I think Bell actually going to be pretty solid into 8-bit. Not the best, not the worst, but at least can get the bounce shots off the high safe, off his turret. Um, and, you know, they do have kind of the map control in the sense that typically 8-bit doesn't want those walls broken down so he can get his turret down. He can hit those little peak shots on the other side. And yeah, that's exactly what the other team's going to go for here. So Griff was somebody they were already thinking about. They have Brock. They actually make the switch as well immediately. They're going to let him be the call out. I think they're going to want Bobby to pop off on this brawler, try and be the main dealer of damage. So I'm really excited to see what they can kind of do here. So let's get into game number one of the push for masters for Bobby BS. It's going to be STM and Bobby playing the Colette here. Mewtwo on the Brock. 
an 8-bit into our random opponents as well. An immediate wall break as well going down here. Rupp taking the left-hand lane and another break in the middle. They're just going for gold here. Opening it all up. The piggy bank would do so anyways. And rocking the Zeus Brock as well. A pretty clean skin for the teammate here. Bobby receiving a few heavy hits as Mewtwo gets the win left-hand side. It's going to be a random win here for our PL randoms. We love to see it. Big plays from the teammates here, staying alive as well. The enemy team seriously on their back footing right now. Gadget being popped for Bobby. Dive in now, 34 plus for each of those back swings. 12% damage dealt. And getting a lot of value out of his life as the teammates continue to put in work now. Bobby with the respawn, 8-bit turret down, and now it's their turn to play defense here. Brock, 8-bit back in action now as they cut up this grass a little bit more. The visibility a little easier to see where Griff is. And Bobby just going to have to hold back for now. They focus up on the Lola Ego, a good connection there as they scout out the Griff as well. 92 to 66 percent. Very dominant lead right now for the blue roster as they try and creep their way back up this map. Still a couple Bobby uh, gadgets here as well. Nice couple tags. Bobby getting some good value out of his life still. And if he can get this dive in, especially with the damage gear up, you saw what it did earlier, about 12% unbelievable amounts of damage just from getting one super down. So he's trying to hold on to that as much as possible. Hasn't used it for defense yet. Little trade going down. Lola getting the win there. It's going to be Griff right-hand side in the middle here. Will be the other team's response. Bell going left. A dive in as well. And there's the offensive Bobby super that we needed. Going to get a win on the right-hand side. No surprise here. He's a pro player for a reason. Now Lola focusing up as well. Griff respawned. Has the super available. Flashing it a couple times as well. Using it as a little bit of a threat. And of course, Bobby being Colette doesn't have an insane amount of range, but they're going to go for this anyways. Emptying the cash register. Griff connecting, but not a ton there. A little bit of a tag. Bell getting a kill here on the left-hand side, too. And this is mostly a fight against the clock at this point. If they can just hold on. Now a super going down. A kill there as well as Mewtwo connects to Bobby popping off right-hand side. Mewtwo there to help as well. Zeus Brock putting in work right now. They're trying to pinch the Griff. No connected tags. They are a super going down. Low HP for Griff. Super inbound. Bobby going to be in trouble here. 15 seconds to go. And the red roster going to have to make a response here early in game number one. If they don't want to face a deficit, Griff getting desperate. Charging in. There's a kill there. Bobby with the dive low. Low, low HP, 79-66, our final score. Bobby BS taking game number one. Clean game one, boys. Clean game one. All we needed was one second. Now hopping in to game number two. Seems like some pretty solid players alongside him. Doesn't feel like this is an EU thing unless my man Bobby's just that good. Feels like we got a good old fight in NA right now. It's going to be the Lola lane once again here. Bell keeping the distance against 8-bit. The slow arcade machine trying to fight his way out. An explosion in the mid. Mewtwo opening this up wide. It's going to be a 3v2. Huge advantage now for Bobby's team as Rupp gets the kill. It's just a lone Lola standing. A super going down. 6k HP going into that high save. Plus some more from Rupp as well. Mewtwo looking to fire away as well. And here comes the lightning bolts from the sky. And it's nearly a runaway here. Only 13. 13% left. Bobby popping off alongside his teammates as Rupp gets another kill. Oh my god. Oh my god. Let's go. That is what I'm talking about. That is what I'm talking about, boys. That's the PL random I want on my team right now. Shots going down for the gadget. The super to finish the job. Bobby BS with a first game and a second game win. Ooh, it was against an EU pro. All right. A big man over there, too. That's a several monthly finalist champion right there. So that's a big win for our man's Bobby BS right now. He's even taking a look at the leaderboard here. All right, he's top 10. We're climbing. Number one on the way soon, brother. I, I, I trust. I trust. Easy. 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 Nine and three on the day. Good job, Mewtwo. See, I told you, it was just a bad day. Delay is just a mindset, but that was clean. That was clean. Starting up the draft, it is going to be Bounty Lair Cake. Immediately, they are going to ban Tick here. Looks like the other player was thinking that as well. So the Deliberate, I think the Giant Fish Man being eliminated. <laughs> oh, yeah, good call. And that's exactly what they end up doing here. Bobby going to be banning out the Gene as well. We'll see what the other side elects to do. It's going to be Mr. P, Ash, and Gray here. Once again, this is Lair Cake. Gus for the first pick. I think that's a wise one. I think that's one of those very generic staple first picks. It's not going to be super counterable. And even if they do go with a counter later down the line, they have plenty of picks left to address that. Colonel 
Eternal Rust number one. This is a brawler that STMN loved a lot in 2022. It's still been continued to play this year, so it doesn't surprise me that Bobby is going to want to see the teammates here on Colonel Ruff's a suggestion of the Grom as well, a flashing of the Shelly, and that's ultimately what they're going to end up going with. Bobby agreeing with this decision as well. And the decision on the other end is going to be Penny. Interesting. So a little bit of distance here for our red roster. I think the left-hand side's got Colonel Ruff's to power people up. Again, a very versatile brawler. I really love Colonel Ruff's. It's somebody that in my Power League games, you know, over in that mythic level that people aren't really going to be able to take advantage of this brawler as much. Gus, another great example of that too. At a pro level at these higher PL games, you're going to get to see people excel with this brawler. So much versatility that they can bring. The long range, or for Colonel Ruff's, for example, the bounce shot. He's got sandbags. He's got the other gadget, which can apply some pressure. And of course, he can power up teammates too. So if you're a good Colonel Ruff's, you're keeping your life, getting a good tags, powering up teammates. That's a lot of value. And of course, Gus with this bubble, especially when you pair it with somebody like Stu, who can just dive in. It can do a lot of work. Bobby ultimately electing to go for the Grom, and we're getting in to our second set of games here. Bobby walking over onto Lair Cake now, and we'll see if the Easter Bunny can deliver here. Shelly taking to the mid, along with CH playing the Colonel Ruffs. Mewtwo getting a win alongside these fellas last time around, so got a new teammate here. We know he's a good player. Gadget going down on the right-hand side as Penny looks to flank. CH low HP. Mewtwo trying to branch out now. Going to be all alone here. Grabs the kill. Looking to trade and pops off there as well. Nice, Mew Mewtwo. You're so good. You're so good, Mewtwo. Come here. Come here, buddy. Survives the interaction with four stars and the blue one on his noggin as well. In same plays here as Bobby can just sit back, relax, and do what throwers do best. Just going to be trying to lob some shots up over that wall. Now Stu in trouble here as well. Going to be backing off one Grom tag away. Now regenerating. They're still playing this very aggressively here. Stu low HP needs to dodge every one of these. Does successfully do so into our boy Bobby now. They're going to have to defend this. Sandbag's a great call into everybody outside of Penny, into Gus, into Stu. I like that decision in that moment. But they have to be careful about the piercing shots from Penny. Still sitting back here. Bounty's a game of momentum. You don't want to give away unnecessary stars. You don't want to push out if you don't have to. And the indestructible wall really helping this team out now as Mewtwo's going to be backed into a corner here. Penny with the kill left-hand side. And this is where things are starting to look hairy for Bobby and the boys. 7-3. to three. They're still back. Bobby with the super, though, does make a huge difference. Connection on to Penny. The kill on to Stu. Penny turret down as well. But easy lobbed shots there for Bobby. It's another reason having a thrower on your side can be so valuable into somebody like Penny, who doesn't have an insane amount of range, just a solid amount. Not an insane amount of damage either, just a good brawler there. DPS, not something this red team really has at its disposal. No supers available outside the stew. With 20 seconds to go, the red roster is going to have to come back by six stars here. Grom Bomb going down the connection on the Penny once again. That's going to be a kill there for Bobby BS. Four stars for him. Mewtwo now branching out as well. Extending positioning for the teammates. The Kooky Popper not doing enough. The team wipe goes through. 16 to 3. Domination here from the blue roster. Bobby BS looking to keep the undefeated streak alive. Game number two coming up, and it was a strong start here for this blue roster. Another thing worth pointing out, too, is the Colonel Ruffs rocking this gadget. A longtime Brawl Stars synergy. It's going to be Colonel Ruffs and Grom pairing together and slowly gaining that HP over time. It's another reason that pros can use this. And for a long time, it was thrower like Sprout or Tick, plus a Colonel Ruffs on your squad, and then a Gene, which for the Magic Puffs as well. And back in the blind format days, that's a lot a lot of people elected to do. And it's carried over a little bit to our draft. Kooky Popper going down, but the Gadget not grabbing any kills. Once again, aggressive stance for the red team. They're already down 3-0. to zero. Grom Bomb inbound. It's going to be Bobby with a kill here. Hot start. Four stars for Bobby. Two kills for him. And a nice lead right now. Stu trying to do something here, but CH staying glued to Bobby, recognizing that the beefier they can make Grom, the better odds they are of him not going down. And the Big super from Mewtwo. Beautiful plays right now. I feel like Mewtwo's been one to watch in general. Playing this aggressive brawler so well, not giving up too many deaths. Love to see it from the teammates. As now Stu's in a world of hurt right now. They have to waste this shield on Stu just to keep him alive, and he's not using it aggressively. He's backing off. They do that just in order to prevent a kill. Less than a minute to go. Seven-star lead for Team Bobby. And they're sitting pretty right now. Grom Bomb going down here too. And without that super, Stu can't dodge. Another kill for Bobby as well. Three now on this game. CH continues to charge him up. Over 6,500 HP for Grom. That is unbelievable right there. And going to be very hard to take down. Mewtwo even charging up a little bit too. Blue Star on Shelly, that is their aggressive brawler, but again, they have such a comfortable lead. I don't think it's going to matter too much. The other team is not able to muster up a single star as the countdown approaches. This is looking pretty bleak for them. 
Gus low HP now right hand side trying to do their best countdown begins Bobby with the super available throwing it down no tag there but no harm no foul shouldn't be too much pressure now as Stu tries to glide forward Gus with the bubble available and Bobby just sitting back relaxing and enjoying the win alongside his teammates 13 to 2 final score absolute domination for Bobby BS in the blue roster here and not to mention a star player 6 and 0 you're the man Bobby Oh, and a little screenshot. Okay. Yes, sir. Draft starting up. It's going to be hot zone split. And I'm very familiar with a few of these players on Bobby's side. We've got Humble Cyclone, a phenomenal player, and Jeff as well, a very solid player. All these guys are going to be about as good of teammates as you can get in Power League as possible. So makes sense to me while they're being paired up with a Bobby BS here. And the bands go through. It's going to be Colonel Ruffs, Gray, and Barley. On the other side, a Shelly, a Crow, and an RT for split. Very very interesting stuff here crow one that i'm not necessarily used to seeing on this map but he can be super pestering to go against however that does mean hank survives so the big fish man going to be taking to the map here no shelly no rt for the other side and immediately bobby's going to flash the griff we'll see what the teammates end up choosing here i think jeff's going to go ahead and select this i think they're maybe going to be considering going for some kind of wall break strategy here as we see bobby swipe through some brawlers right now a griff b combo is very historic and traditional here whenever you see the griff first likely you're going to be going for some kind of long range maybe a little anti-tank kind of play in there too it looks like they do end up selecting the B, so that makes sense to me here. Mr. P going to be the selection. Honestly, this is the world we live in, too. This is a more recent thing. If you haven't been tuning into Brawl Esports as much recently or a little newer to it at home, Mr. P, probably a pretty decent brawler, but in professional Brawl Stars, he has not been super viable for a while here. Now getting a lot of love in life after a few balance changes. Some pros maybe recently discovering that he's a little bit better, and especially into single-shot brawlers like B, the porters go a long way, so likely you're going to be trying to beef up those porters and then send them at some somebody like B. Bobby thinking the dynamite here though, especially into the Lou as well. Really interesting combination here for Split on the red roster. Whew, and we get to see the Bob Marley mic. Okay, I like this. This is going to be a really fun draft, especially when you pair the thrower with somebody like Griff. They're going to have to play a lot of peace control here, honestly. You've got the Griff that can break open walls. B benefits from that, but traditionally throwers don't. So I'm curious to see how Bobby plays this, how they end up laning this. He's got two really good teammates, like I said, as well. So I'm it's going to be pretty clear that they're going to know what they're doing, I'm assuming. Other side, no telling who it is. I see a double STMN thing, though, so I wonder if this is their teammate OG. Maybe a cute Sans or a Czar up in here or just a stamina. Isn't that Sans? Dude, Sans, you really got to go Mr. P when we play, but you go Colt when you play everyone else? Like, come on now. Fan, but regardless, they're going to send both brawlers to the left while Bobby tries to play on the away side. Jeff now swinging over as well, trying to assist Bobby, who's taking a lot of heat. Professional player Cyclone as well, right-hand side. Just hunkered down, and it's going to be Hank marching it forward. Bobby there to help. They have to stay out of this giant bubble, though. Big slowdown going through, and the B counter play is there. Nicely done as Bobby gets a big kill and a nice dodge alongside it. Not electing to use that super yet. Don't think he wants to tear down this wall. I think they want that to their benefit. Going to make it a little harder for Lou to get shots. But Hank now marching it down the right-hand side, spinning his way up, popping that bubble on Cyclone for a lot of HP. Bobby now rushing over. Super goes down, disrupts the shot, the connection from Cyclone as well. Small lead right now for Bobby and the boys. But the biggest thing is they've done so much work on the away side. The only thing the red roster can say is that they've done the easy side. They've done their home side and not a ton on the right. But now they're going to fully engage here. That's going to be a kill as well. But Bobby, Jeff focused on the left. Mr. P trying to defend. And now it's Hank rushing in as well Jeff with the kill explosion going down no connection there Hank looking for blood here and a nice dodge as well remember he can get those shots through the wall so Bobby's gonna have to be careful they're juggling a lot here the Mr. P Porter Mr. P Lou on the right Hank on the wall Bobby doing his best to dodge but they catch up too soon first death of the game for Bobby it's neck and neck right now 84% but the red side is climbing they're gonna have to get through this ice rink here as Lou looks to stand his ground they take down the right the much more significantly difficult side 90% and climbing now the stun going through though Bobby with a chance here 95% super on the ground a kill on the Mr. P 3% left they need to play a perfect defense now super on the ground Lou is going down but the Hank too much HP to handle almost an heroic effort here for Bobby but this is going to be a deficit they're down 0 to 1 now hopping into game number two all right Cyclone you're gonna have to be able to beat a Lou one on one I'm sorry Cyclone you're gonna have to be able to be to beat a Lou 1v1 Ah, oh, I can't believe we lost that game. We'll see if they make any adjustments here. And again, I'm going to anticipate 
pretty similar stuff here. We'll see if they send more left, if they do the same strategy. I'm guessing they're going to stick to the same. That's exactly what we're going to see here. Again, one to two kills is really all the difference that it makes here. So it's going to be a 2v1 situation against Hank. They're going to go ahead and open this up, which I think is a wise decision. Easier to dodge out the Hank shots. More access for B, more access for Griff. And they're going to push it away for now. Cyclone has a bubble, so we'll survive this as Bobby dukes it out on the left-hand side. Mr. P playing a stellar defense right now. Lou looking to defend here, too. Take a guess at home as well. Do you think that this is actually going to be an S-team in player in this Mr. P? I think there's pretty good odds of it, considering how good these guys are. Solid win in that first game. But the blue roster now climbing here, trying to make a comeback as Cyclone battles a porter. Like I said, has to waste two shots on just one porter. And as a result, Hank's going to be able to survive a little longer. Bobby, though, on the left-hand side, doing fantastic work right now, looking for a stun, baiting it. Does get the kill anyways, though, and a super going down to Bobby for the double. And now can eliminate that super, too. No more pesky porters. Cyclone holding down the right. Bobby looking at the left. Hank out of range here. Cyclone missing a few tags, but Bobby... Not doing the same. A super going down as well. Looking for the double tag as well. A perfect bounce. Bobby popping off left-hand side. Lou with an ice rink, but Cyclone with a clear lane to the right-hand side. Completely different story here in game number two. Highlighted by the insane dynamite gameplay. It's going to be 1-1 one, one here, and we're going to be getting into a thriller of a game number three, I'm sure. It's going to be tight. We'll see if they make any adjustments on either lane now, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. I'm sure Dynamite's going to be headed left, and that's exactly what we're going to do here. Bobby single-handedly going to start on this left-hand side, try and get whatever damage he can, but adjustments from the right. It's a single Mr. P. They're going to be going into B and Griff. Lou doing his best on the left, just kind of keeping back, getting the percentage they need. But remember, Hank can get this through the wall, and a Bobby super connects, though. Doesn't break any walls, but it breaks through all of Hank's armor. The tank falls. It's going to be a great start here for Bobby. Now they're going to be able to climb back in percentage. They get some visibility as well, even if that super doesn't necessarily commit. It's going to be a stun going down the connection. Once again, the double tag, a super on the loo, catches him off guard, low HP here. Bob Marley Mike, unbelievable right now. But Mr. P... Causing a ruckus on the right. We'll see if Jeff and Cyclone can handle this situation. It looks like Jeff's going to get it done. Is Bobby continuing to 1v2 here? A connection now. Bobby does have a super in hand, though. We've seen how lethal those can be for him. Needs to be careful as Hank approaches. A big pop there. Bobby low HP as a thrower. Not going to be a fun situation. Throws the super down. The big Mike shot not connecting, but Jeff does. Mr. P Porter right now. Super on the ground as Mr. P looks to 1v2 trying to handle the situation, but the cast register is deployed. Jeff getting all the kills. It is going to be a tight one, folks. Red team has now locked down the left-hand side. All they have to do is take down the right. Bobby charging up here. They should be able to get closest to 75%, but the rest of the job is going to have to be done on the away side. Lou also holding on to that scoop super is very scary as well. Slow down into Hank. Way to handle that situation with Cyclone and Bobby. Fantastic work right now. They just need to keep Mr. P off this point as long as possible. Super on the ground. It's going to break this open, but Mr. P is going to fall. Jeff does have piggy banks available, but they do want to keep this open for Bobby as long as possible. They keep the walls up. He's still got plenty to work with. And Jeff getting some valuable percentage points here. It's a dead even tie right now as Hank just moves it on along, trying to dip his pinky toes into this for whatever percentages they can. Jeff's still staying alive as long as he can. 77 to 77 now as Bobby's looking to get aggressive. Big tag going down, but now a 1v2, a lot to handle even for our GOAT. 81 to 77, B all alone, right-hand side trying to handle Hank. Ice rink, left-hand side. Shots firing both sides, and once again, we have a tie. It's neck and neck right now. Super going down, misconnection for Bobby. Mr. P falls though they're down two percent 40 seconds to go it's gonna be a battle to see who can get this first and now they're doing their best Lou is going to fall Hank alive cash register deployed close right now super on the ground 92 and climbing here for Bobby Mr. P doing his best they have to get desperate the first kill he does grab though and this is gonna make things interesting here ice rink on the right hand side but Cyclone connects the shot huge kill here as now they can't gain any percentage points and the countdown begins Hank overwhelming them with health points here cyclone trying to connect bobby rushing left though they grab the percentage they need it won't matter bobby bs wins those epic comeback against his own teammate mr p confirmed to be sans glad we got that one in the video the bobby mike hit different 13 and 3 brother Sheesh. that's crazy
Oh, and he took the screenshot. Have to. Have to take the screenshot for that. And he has moved up to number six on the leaderboards. Okay. Yes, sir. All right. That's going to wrap it up for me. Great games, Mr. Bobby. Always a pleasure casting you. And best of luck hitting number one in the world. I have no doubt that you're going to be able to get there. Appreciate you all. And be sure to check me out either on my channel, same thing, Kung Fu Kenny underscore 32, or at the BSC main channel for esports, where we see Mr. Bobby BS compete here in a couple weeks. See y'all soon. Hey, you. Yes, you there watching this on your phone. Have you ever wanted to be the best, the most handsome, the most loved player on your team, and support your favorite creator at the same time? Well, I have good news. You can be all of that and more by using code Bobby. But you have to do it now because this is a limited time offer. Use code Bobby at any Supercell Games store.